Welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and this is my Animal Crossing RPG Island of Merlin. And during my announcements today, I found out that Nooks is upgrading. So let's go in and visit with Tammy and Tommy. Hello, hello. Yes, I heard that Nooks Cranny is going to be upgrading, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm wanting to, I haven't 100% figured out what I want to do um, with my shops yet. I'm thinking that I want to kind of turn them into a castle-like item themselves and put them behind um, the medieval walls and stuff. Um, and I just think that the Nook shop will do better if it's in um, its second stage. So anyway, after it upgrades, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, but I have not been in here yet today, so let me go ahead and buy my candy and see what else we got for sale. If I see anything interesting. Um, not really since I have my house completely decorated. I don't see anything that I think would work better for like my record room. Um, I am going to buy this just because I may even already have it, but that's all right. Okay, let me see what else we can get into today. Okay, I did cheat earlier and I went into Abel's and they just did not have anything uh, that we're needing. So we won't go bother them again. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about putting um, Abel's sisters and Nook's cranny along this area. Um, but I need to figure out um, how far back they need to be in order for it to work. Um, so let me do this. Let me get a few castle items and let's see if we can figure that out. Okay, I am back. I've got a couple of things to just kind of play with this. And I almost hate that I put Abel Sisters right there because it's hard for me to tell where I want this. Um, I feel like I want to at least make sure we're past the edge of the castle. So let's do this. Let's put a castle wall or a medieval building side, I guess is what I'm going to use. I'm trying to decide if I want it exactly here or if I want to move it back so I can do some decorating in front. I think I might want to move it back a little bit. Um, so we can do some decorating behind it. And Able Sisters is five wide, so let's do this. And then if we put another side here. Okay, so there's where one of the shops can go. And then I literally may just put them side by side through here. But if I do that, let's see if I can figure out. Um, let me get into decorating mode and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if I can do this path and I may end up moving these a little because I was just thinking I want to make sure oh it worked perfect um and I may need to move it back oh, I didn't mean to do that um let me I'm gonna move it back one more space because I want to make sure that I have room um to get in here I don't think it'll let you put it quite that close three four five okay let me finish building this out okay I have the little uh, outline for it and let me move this forward a little bit okay I think that might actually work I have it centered uh, I tell you what, let's go visit Tom Nook and let's try moving Abel Sisters and see how this works. Okay, I have the shop thing. I'm hoping that when it does the uh, show me thing that it keeps the castle walls there. Alright, let me imagine it. Okay, it did. 
Why does it off? Okay, nope, I need to rethink it. I can't see what I'm doing. All right, I know that it it kept the uh, the walls, so let me make sure I get this centered where I want it. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me do this one more time. Is the entrance to the shop not actually in the middle? It's not. It's like over to the side. So... Okay, let me rethink this then. I need to move it over here more. Let me take this path off of here. All right, we're gonna do this instead. Let me, let me put a path right here in the middle where I want my door to be. And let's see if I can, if I can figure this out. Okay, um, let's try right here. Let me imagine it. Okay, that's where I want it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have the tailor shop where we want it. Goodness, that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Hopefully I don't have that problem when I actually go to do Nook's Cranny. Um, okay, so that should work. Um, before I do any of my other stuff, I need to start figuring out where I'm gonna put all of my houses. Um, because I am running out of room for stuff because my castle's so big. Um, I'll probably move some of the houses down this way. That actually might work out really well. Um, because I've been trying to figure out having the main road here, how I want to decorate down this direction. And I may just take a little road down towards the beach. Um, maybe like right here. That would be perfect. And then I can put a couple houses over there and then figure some stuff out. Okay starting to get a plan in my head the pro you have to trust the process sometimes the process is hard all right let me show you what i've been up to with my house um i did get the diagonal bridge put in that's going to go over here and i'm just going to create some sort of a garden area over here and i did start um putting path down around my rock garden um, this is kind of what it ended up as. I may change it later, but for now, at least there is path around it. And I did use um, the transparent tiles here in the middle, so nothing spawns. Um, so there's that in front of my house. And then you can kind of see over here, I have a little waterfall. So behind my house, I have started doing some terraforming. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna work on in today's video. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a speed build, and you can kind of see the thought process that goes through my head when I'm just creating some random terraforming. So without further ado, let's get started.
I think I've got this the way I want it. Um, I don't know how much of this you'll actually be able to see um, from the ground, but at least I know that it's fully decorated. Um, this is a money tree, and this is a money tree that will grow eventually. Um, but I thought it turned out really cute. Um, it looks good from the ground, so I'm happy with it. Um, so anyway, let's see what else we need to do to get into today. Um, I don't know that there's too much. Um, I know Gulliver's over here, and I'll take care of him off camera. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure that I have a whole lot to do. Um, I'm really happy with um, figuring out where I wanted to put Able Sisters, because this has been driving me crazy figuring out um, how I want to continue away from my castle. Um, I think the next thing I need to do is try and figure out this road situation, and I'll probably put it right here. Um, going up that direction so then I just need to kind of plan for this small area here and I will probably put a couple of houses um, along here I may even put the backs of them um, to this road so that may be might be an idea um, so anyway I think that's gonna be it for this video uh, it might be a little bit shorter but I am slowly but surely working on this island um, it's starting to get a little tougher just because I'm not sure exactly how I want to decorate it. Um, so the challenge part of it is not that bad. I just have to be patient and wait on villagers to move out. Um, I did go to Harv's Island off camera and start that process because once I have it completely unlocked, um, I can do um, any time traveling I want to so I could like time travel two weeks ahead and see if I could get a villager to move out. Um, but anyway, as I said, for now, I think that's going to be it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!